What's up, I'm Keith Kelfis. I'm a landscaper, and I wanna talk about, in this video, some of the shame that comes with being a man and feeling like he has to make a lot of money and be a provider and have materialistic things in order for him to feel worthy, and the dark side of this stuff from personal experience. And this is really important because men are not allowed to show weakness or shame or vulnerability in any of that stuff. And so they can feel very bottled up. There's a time in my life when my wife and I were trapped in a tiny one bedroom apartment. And any time that my wife would even bring up something like, you know, when are we gonna get a house? <laughs> or, or, you know, anybody would say to me, hey, when are you gonna stop driving this crappy truck with rust all over it? When are you gonna get a brand new truck? When is your wife gonna get a nice ring on it? Win, 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 win. That can put a level of pressure on you that will make you um, work yourself 80, 90, 100 hours a week, but also beat yourself up. I remember pacing around the house in front of my wife, yelling and cussing at myself, talking, telling her how I was worthless and that she should leave me and go find another guy who had already reached the level of materialistic uh, things because I, I'm, I'm obviously not good enough for her. And I would go, money, 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 money solves all problems if I just had money. like, And um, those type of thoughts don't make you money and they don't produce results. Oh, obviously, today I am uh, in, a, in a place and in a position that I've always dreamed of being in but I spent my whole life being absolutely uh, poor and in low self-esteem and, and, and wallowing in shame. And if I would even see a guy driving, a tr especially a guy younger than me, driving a brand new truck on the road, I would, I would go into rage and anxiety thinking about how, why is he worthy and I'm not. I would approach other men at the gas pump at the gas station who had driven, drove nice cars and I would be like, excuse me sir, how, how are you driving that nice car? What do you do for a living? How um, people, if they had a nice house, I would be like, how are you living in this house? Like, why are you worthy to have this and I'm not? And the level of rage was so bad. And I think that as when you don't have the right influencers and mentors around you, especially as a young man, you just have people around you criticizing you and shaming you and telling you you you're not good enough and beating you down, but not lifting you up and pointing you in the right direction and getting you around the right information and the right people and the support and support and nurturing and caring that's required to to grow and evolve uh, consciously in your career and financially and all that stuff. So when it's like you're getting sandwiched, you are getting beaten down from the top and you're at the bottom and you're getting upward pressure to move up, yet you don't know how to capitalize and, and do this and it's a long, hard road. And so um, the level of shame that, that comes with it is damaging because if you are especially a man and you don't have the materialistic things that you feel like you should have at this point in your life and you're having anxiety over it. Um, beating yourself up about it and talking bad about yourself or treating other people badly is not the path that is going to make it better for you. And then just giving up and accepting the fact that it's not meant to be for you is not the path either. If you really believe in your heart that you're ordained to have a good life and have nice things and have the things you've always dreamed of and have that brand new truck and have a house and have a good credit score and money in the bank and be able to go on vacations and buy the clothes that you want and have all that stuff. I think that the real fact of all this is it all starts with worthiness. It all comes down to do you feel worthy? Because if you don't feel worthy, you're going to do everything to push it away from you. You are going to point the finger at it and say, I'm not worthy of that, and this is why. And you come up with a reason why. And it all feels so real to you because you don't have all the shit you wish you had. And um, I think that the number one thing that uh, I can only speak from my experience, but also well, actually from the experience of people around me as well, is uh, worthiness. When you believe in your heart that you were worthy of, let's say, getting a certain dollar amount per hour at a job or charging a certain amount 
for a, a, a project, if you're a freelancer or a small business owner, when you believe that you're worthy of that or these things or this and your standards go up, you have high standards, right? And you have dignity and you have integrity and you build all these skills over time. And you don't build those skills just by willing or wishing yourself into that. There's the underside of that, the underpinning and the, the base and the foundation of all this abundant stuff I'm talking about is also about being somebody who's willing to step into the fire and, and carry the responsibilities on your shoulders and on your back and show up when no one else will. That to be responsible and accountable for the things that you say and, and your actions, you know, like what I mean is, um, being uh, the person who's willing to uh, take on bigger risks, create more value for people, create higher levels of value, and as is above, so is below. I've, I'm totally lost for words right now. Responsibility. You gotta take on more responsibilities. That's one of the fears. You know, you see someone in a brand new car or truck, they have a responsibility to make that payment, right? You see somebody in a nice house, they have a responsibility to make that payment. So in a way, you have to give up your bullshit story that you're telling yourself that makes you feel like you have some sense of freedom, right? And you have to give up something temporarily in order to get that. Anyways, I'm done.